Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah, let's do it. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, 15th through the 31st. Yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for this time period of May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer. So let's see what we've got for you. Oops. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Sorry, it's pretty hot. I mean, it's not like hot, but it's really warm in my room right now. And I'm very, very warm. And I'm kind of sweating. My hands are clammy. So the cards are <laughs> slipping out of my hands a little bit. But anyway, not like you needed to know all that. But there it is. <laughs> all right, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What have we got for you? All right, one more shuffle for Cancer. Yep, there we go. What have we here? Okay. Overall energy. We are starting with... Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Queen B. Someone ain't taking no drama no more. Someone, ain't, someone is not putting up with the bullshit. Okay. Like, had it. Done. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> We've got the Queen of Swords. Wow, with... The Lovers, okay? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse, and we have, oops, okay, well, I wanted to take that out, but we have the Nine of Wands here, and underneath that, we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse. So, um, yeah, someone is adopting the Queen of Swords energy in order to make a decision. Now, Cancer, this is either you or this is the other person. But I'm really feeling like this is you, Cancer. Like, in the sense of if we're if you're choosing between uh, two people in a relationship, um, you're basically taking 
the path with less drama, is what the Queen of Swords is saying. And that could very well be just choosing to be single, is what I'm picking up for some of you Cancers. And you may have felt like you were in a mental prison lately with the Eight of Swords in reverse, in the Eight of Swords, but it's reversed here. So you're, I feel like you're really letting that go. Now, on the other hand, you could be, especially with the Nine of Wands here, there could be some of you that are choosing to stay in the relationship, to persevere in some sort of relationship. You're not, le you're not keeping yourself up in your head about it. You're releasing any sort of um, points of view that would make you feel like you're trapped. Or in another sense, the Queen of Swords energy is coming forward and saying, no, I'm not trapped here. I don't have to feel like I'm being, I, I'm trapped and can't get out. And, in that, and if at any moment I do start to feel like that, I'm cutting it shit right back out. Okay. I will give you another chance. But as soon as you step to me with some mess, you're done. So you better watch out. Okay. Because that seven of swords that came up from came out from under the nine of and this and this is why this is why I wanted to take this nine of wands out and reveal this seven of swords, because I really feel like this is the Cancerian. Um, in most of the readings I've done so far today for the zodiacs, I have been saying it's either them, it's either the zodiac sign I was reading for, or it was you know another person. For the most part, here I'm picking up. I'm talking straight to the Cancerians here. You have released some sort of situation in which you were being um, taken advantage of. And I do remember doing a reading like that for you guys. Um, was it March? But, so, okay, it's possible that maybe this person came back around and have, have shown you, and I, I want to say proven to you, sufficiently enough for you to even consider letting them back in. But you're approaching the situation from a Queen of Swords point of view, saying, okay, look, you've made your case. I will give you another shot. But don't think I didn't forget. Don't think I forgot about what happened last time. And as soon as I start to see that energy come forward again, you are done. Okay? Moving forward, we have the High Priestess. Um... So someone's being secretive, and I really feel like this is you, Cancer. This is you. This is how you're also, from a spiritual point of view, less than a mundane point of view, everyday point of view, like physical point of view. From an overall spiritual point of view, you're you're keeping your you're keeping a lot under wraps. You're not really revealing too much right now because you don't want to be manipulated. And quite honestly, I understand that. And we have the hanged man. So um, there could be now for some of you. Like, say, those of you who are choosing to end a relationship and move on on your own, that's what the hanged man is saying. You may, in some cases, some of you may be ending a relationship quite abruptly and really not, and really not saying a damn thing about it. In that situation, the, 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 uh, the high priestess to me is saying, I don't have to explain shit to you. Bye. Get out of my space. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, um, and yeah, I want to say good on you because if it if it got to that point for those of you who that resonates with, if it got to that point, honey, boo boo, child, bye. <laughs> yeah, really. Now for others of you, um, yeah, like say if you are accepting someone back in, um, you're still pretty distant and. That's and like the high priestess said that at first, like you're keeping you're keeping a lot of your thoughts and emotions um, and, and true feelings hidden, um, and that's on a spiritual sense. But now, now both of these cards are major arcana, so we're do we're both talking pretty overarching spiritual um, situations here. But uh, the hanged man to me is talking more about on the physical. Um, on the physical, you're really kind of you're really taking a step back, maybe even isolating yourself from this person for a while, maybe being like, uh, look, boo, maybe we can try this again, but you need to give me a little more time because I maybe I maybe you still have some healing you want to do. Or ultimately you if that is you, you're wanting to gain a new perspective, which absolutely could speak to some healing that needs to be done. Okay. Moving forward, we have the Hierophant. Okay, so if you are going in, in within and you are like, you know, 
um, taking a step back from a, for a while, like say in what I just picked up is like for some of you, an offer from this person from your past came in and you're kind of like, hmm, let me sleep on it. And you're communicating with your higher self. Um, because the Hierophant for me is the higher self card because our higher selves are of the fifth dimension. And so what I'm what I'm picking up here so far, because I have to I have to pull a second card for this spot, but what I'm picking up so far is that you're really communicating with your higher self and your intuition with the high priestess here about how what how to proceed. Should you really let this person back in? Blah blah blah. The Hierophant is coupled with, ooh, the King of Wands. Yes, the King of Wands is reversed. We could be talking a Twin Flame situation um, because we have the Lovers, which talks about a deep soulmate connection or a relationship. Um, we also have the King of Wands, which in the three-dimensional three sense um, can symbolize the Divine Masculine. Um and it's interesting, as, as a twin flame myself and as the feminine in the relationship, I did go through a sort of energetic um, cutoff point of view where it was just like, no, there's too much drama here. And I adopted the Queen of Swords situation and cut shit out. And I can only imagine that there were many, many other divine feminines who did that in the recent past. If that is you, um, you may... Either you may have received some sort of invitation from your Divine Masculine. I'm not getting any, I don't have any sort of like a page or anything. So I'm not getting complete uh, physical evidence that you have received a message. I'm just picking up on the energy. So I'm, I'm telling it like I feel it right now. You may have gotten an invitation. You may have gotten some sort of communication with your Divine Masculine. Um, and you're on the fence about it. And you're really going within, like you're keeping all of your emotions hidden, all of how you truly feel hidden. You are taking a step back and probably possibly even isolating yourself for some time in order to speak with your higher self and your intuition and maybe even the universe about how to approach this situation with whoever this King of Wands in reverse is. For others of you that are not on a Twin Flame situation, this King of Wands is speaking to someone who is um, uh, emotionally manipulative, promiscuous, um, a cheater, um, ha could potentially have multiple people around them while telling you you're their only one, that kind of thing, that kind of situation, okay? And honestly, if that person, and this, okay, so this is speaking to those of you that I picked up on that you feel or you're saying from a Queen of Swords point of view, okay, you have sufficiently proven to me that you will either want to change or have made some changes, but... You're still keeping yourself distant and you're still kind of isolating yourself and communicating with your higher self being like, uh, just, I mean, I know yet yeah, he's put forth, like he's made his case, but is this really it? Like, is this going to stick? Like you're having this conversation with your intuition, your higher self, the universe, what's the, what not, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Moving forward, we have the three of pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork. Okay. With... The Hermit. Wow, a lot of the same cards are coming up. I I started with Aries today, and now I'm I'm now I'm at Cancer, and a lot of the same cards have come up. It's very interesting. Um, but the Three of Pentacles in Reverse is talking about a lack of teamwork, and the Hermit, uh, which is the Virgo card, uh, the Hierophant is the is uh, Taurus, and the Lovers is Gemini. Um if you want to think of it in that, in those terms, a period of introspection. So yeah, here's that introspection I was talking about that I alluded to with the hanged man. Okay. In a physical sense, when it comes to this introspection, the hanged man is saying that you really could put, you really could be isolating yourself, maybe from your friends, friends and family, or maybe just from this person, this other person that we're talking about. The hermit is saying you're going within you're really going within cancer and you're really working with your intuition and with your higher self to gain some sort of wisdom around uh, the situation in which there was a lack of teamwork. And that could be that king of, excuse me, and that very well, very much is that king of wands in reverse that we're talking about here that potentially could have come back to you and maybe gave, um, a sufficient argument for you. It's sufficient enough. And when I say they made their case, I'm saying it's sufficient enough where now you're kind of like, hmm, 
okay, that all makes sense. Hmm, do I give you another chance? You know what I mean? So now you're analyzing the situation from a point of, well, can this person really work with me? Are they really going to do, deliver on what they say they are going to do? And I'm going to take a second here to reopen my window blind shades because the sun was coming through. Oh, wait. Well, there's some cloud cover. So, okay. We'll see what happens. But if it gets too bright again, I will close the shades. But, um... So you're, yeah, you're really, you're really going forward um, within, internally to flesh this out and make a decision because that's also what the lovers is talking about. It's not just, you know, this from a symbol of this romantic relationship. It's also needing to make a decision. Okay. All right. Next we have King of Swords. Looky here. We have got counterparts. Before I say anything, let me get the next card. Three of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> I want to speak to Twin Flames at the moment. If you are on, if this, if you're on a Twin Flame journey and this is your Divine Masculine or maybe even your Divine Feminine, okay, because um, ultimately it really doesn't even make sense to talk about gender at this point because this is all just energetic, Okay. For the most part, for the most part. But okay, no, if we're talking about, if we're talking to Twin Flames, then no, I'm not going to speak to gender at all. It's all about energy. Um, I'm picking up right now that for you, Cancer, this is you. Both the King and the Queen of Swords is you. And what I want to say about that is um, a lot of us, I, I know I personally have come into a place where I have really balanced. I really come to a new level of balance within my masculine and my feminine energies. I am on a twin flame journey, as I stated before. Um, and so, <laughs> yes. So here, for those of you that are resonating with this as a twin, um, this person may have come forward. And actually, I also want to say that this person may not have physically come forward. Okay, but you, they may not have said to you, hey, can I try it? Can we try this again? But you, on the other hand, are on an energetic level feeling their desire to come forward. And so now you're processing things, okay, from an energetic point of view. So they have, so, so, um, um, so they, in a sense, got through the Queen of Swords, but now they have to deal with the King of Swords. Now they actually have to put, their money where their mouth is, which is what the Three of Wands is saying, is the action steps. Okay, a choice has been made. We can do that. Okay, so uh, so so um, stepping out of the twin flame situation again, and now back into like the just the general situation. Um, say in the case that this person may have actually come forward to you, even if it is your twin, they may have come forward, but. Um, they got through the queen and now they got to deal with the king. And the king is like, all right, cool, buddy. What you going to do about it? I want to see some action. Three of wands. The choice has been made. Okay, we can do this, but you need to follow through. <laughs> and the king just said, you don't follow through, you get the queen. I'm unleashing the queen on you. And I promise you, you don't want that. And the queen of swords is back here like, I know that's right. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's the situation. Okay. Now you don't have to be on a twin flame journey to experience this balance between uh, ba uh, uh, masculine and feminine. This absolutely could be the same thing for you, even if you're not on a twin flame journey. But I, I needed to say that specifically for the twins, because that's a part of where they are, are where we are right now. We're really balancing our masculine and feminine energies. Okay. Moving forward, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. I feel like this is the other person, Cancer. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups. All right, now, there could be a situation in which this person has not come forward yet. And this is where I'm speaking to those people in which you feel the energetic pull of this person wanting to come back. But see, this is talking about the other person's energy. They are stuck in a Two of Swords state. Like, they don't know which end is up. 
they are really between a rock and a hard place. And in many cases, I'm sorry guys, I think I do need to close the blinds again. I mean, you can still see the cards. I just love sitting here in the sunlight. It's so pretty. Um, but this is very much a situation where they're caught between a very, very rock, a very, very big rock and a very, very hard spot. And they're, they are very well maybe drowning their sorrows because of it. Because honestly, what I'm picking up here is they really fucked up, like, like big time. Like enough for you to literally cut them off and never want to see them again. And when a cancer does that, they're quite serious. Cancers are very loving, very compassionate, very uh, giving and, um, and you know, and all, and all that. But cancers are just like Taurans. And this is kind of in this sense, and this is a lot of re the reason why Cancer and Taurus gets, goes along, goes, gets along so well together. A lot of, I'm a Taurus son, and a lot of my best friends throughout life, or at least the people that I've had the easiest time connecting with, like right off the bat, are Cancers. But, and Tau Taurus is like this too. You push us, push a cancer far enough and they will chop your fucking head off without a second word or a second thought. Like, you're dead to me. Get out of my space. I never want to see you again. But you see, it takes time. It takes, a, it, takes, it takes a good amount of effort to push a cancer that far. So now this other person is like, now what the hell do I do? Now what the hell do I do? And they could very well be drowning their sorrows overindulging in something to keep the the sadness at bay. Next we have the sun, but see, the sun is still shining. Oh my God, I was literally just about to say that before. The sun is still here, all is not lost. And it's funny because I was gonna say all is not lost and I got an image of the five of cups here, but this is better, the sun. The sun is shining on this situation. So I don't think, I don't think Cancer, you've gotten to that point yet of you never wanna see this person again. Um, and you may not even care if you see this person again, but you don't get me wrong. You were close. <laughs> you were quite close. And we have the seven of pentacles here too. So all is not lost. The sun is still shining, but there is really a need for people to look back on this situation and see the error of their ways. And I'm talking both sides here, guys, both you cancer and this other person. All right. You both need to look at this situation under the light of the sun under the illumination that you now have, I'm going to, I'm going to close the blinds. I'm so sorry. I just want all this pretty sunlight, but anyway, you need to look at this situation, um, under the illumination that the sun is bringing to you right now to understand how you got to this point to begin with. Okay. Please understand that this is a two way street. Neither of you got here by the, uh, alone. Okay. You both had your own input. All right. Now, some per one person may have done more to derail the situation than the other, but ultimately you were both still involved. So you both have so so at least some responsibility to accept, okay? Moving forward, we have the Three of Swords. But the Three of Swords is in reverse here. So I'm getting um, that there is a release of this Three of Swords energy, okay? With the Seven of Cups, yeah. Uh, pfft, well, first of all, th the Seven of Cups could be talking about wishful thinking. But it also could be talking about uh, options, multiple partners, which would definitely give rise to a Three of Swords energy. And that's what we were talking about here with the King of Wands in reverse. Someone who had multiple multiple individuals on the side while trying to make you feel or convince you, maybe trying to convince all of them that they were number one, okay? But there is a release of this sort of energy. Either it's from you, Cancer, or it's from this other person. And if it's from you, Cancer, it's a release of um, being held back by it, being affected or manipulated by this energy. Just letting the situation go. Either letting it go and being like, I'm done with this, I'm done with you, goodbye. I, please don't talk to me anymore, or letting go of the pain and the hurt that has come up from this Three of Swords situation. Finally, for you, Cancer, we have the Chariot in reverse. So here you are. This is you, Cancer, with Temperance. Excellent. So, uh, again, we could be talking Twin Flames because uh, temperance is a twin flame card. It's balance, it's ultimate balance. Um, 
Now, Cancer, this is you in the chariot, absolutely. And this is exactly what we were talking about earlier, about you taking this time to go in, go within, isolate yourself, speak with your intuition and your higher self to balance out, okay? The chariot in reverse is saying, is, is just saying it's a, a, a roadblock. Yes, it could be a roadblock. It could be a hard stop to any movement forward. Um, it's also, it's talking about a desire to want to move forward. But then again, for those of you that have that, that have like said, hmm, okay, you made a sufficient case. Let me sleep on it. This is you stop put, pumping the brakes right now so that you can sleep on it so that you can bring balance to yourself and understand the situation enough to make a decision to be balanced enough to make a decision on how to proceed. Because either way, ultimately, Cancer, you want to proceed somehow, whether that be with this other person or on your own in a new path, in a new direction. And I love that you came out at the very end of your own reading. Like, that's freaking fantastic, Cancer. I love it. Okay, but ultimately, ultimately, you are in a moment of balancing out. And for what I can feel right now, it's going very well because, mainly because you have the counterparts of the King and the Queen of Swords at your disposal. Neither one of them are, are reversed. They are both upright. So they are standing in their truthful, authentic power and aiding you in coming to terms with what's being presented to you right now, okay? All right, Cancer. Well, that was actually, that was actually quite a beautiful reading. I, gone brothers and gone sisters like you got this you know your wits are about you you know full well what the past has brought you and you damn sure aren't trying to do that again so good on you stay strong you got this i love you guys i look forward to connecting with you for the first half of june oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> number one that would be you that will be your season so yay but um, we're almost halfway through the month, guys. It's kind of crazy. Where is the time going? Ha! All right, guys. Mwah. Much love to you. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon, yeah? Bye.